were the key components of uh, reaching impact. I think the first key component is impact is a mindset. Uh, so for me, that is probably the most important because if you think you are going to reach a thousand children or 10,000 children and you want to control that, you're never going to reach impact. And it's also a choice. So for me, the first step is impact. Is it your choice? Do you want to make the impact really and truly for yourself? With that comes the mindset. And another very important factor for me in impact is letting what I call letting go. That means whatever my model that one chooses, whatever model I choose to take, one lets go that it's not going to be the way as a social entrepreneur, I visualize it. It is going to be different and not looking at this difference as something that is wrong just because it's not my vision, but looking at it as something which enhances the vision, makes it grow, and then saying that, that the sum of different parts makes it much more beautiful. It's like one flower is beautiful, but a bouquet is even more beautiful. So I think that's the second part which is learning to take on the vision from other people i think the third thing which is very important and is researching from day one and seeing how one is going to do it because that's how this i feel social entrepreneurs we may start with an idea and something you react to but if you want to scale then you need to know research you need to know the market uh, you need to know how to impact it. Um, and I also did that for Aflatun because there was no use starting something if uh, others were doing it. And like when we did the pilot with Aflatun, we said, let's look at entrepreneur. Even when we chose other Afla Ashoka fellows in the Aflatun pilot, we chose those who had an affinity to entrepreneurship or who had an affinity to child's rights. So by research, you're getting the first step more clear because you know whom to target and you know how to build. The next thing that you're also able to do with research is able to identify who I, what we term as accelerators, who would be able to help create more of the impact and therefore having the choice for that. So that's to me the fourth thing identifying your key accelerators and starting to work with them right from the beginning of the idea. So in countries for Aflatun, we chose the right NGO, but we already told the NGO that they had to work with the Ministry of Education because ultimately curriculum change would come from there. So to me, that is the fourth important thing which you need to look at. And the last, when you go to scale, is the ownership of the concept has to move from you as the founder or social entrepreneur to everybody you work with. That means everyone should be saying, this is my idea, I believe in it, I'm taking it forward and it should not be yours. I think so for me, these are the five things to scale. Um, so if I look at the whole model of scaling, I would actually put it in a pattern um, and the pattern has three clear steps in my mind. They may be different steps for others. The first step is the proof of concept or the proof of the idea. And I will say this applies to Childline India, where it was just starting the Childline in Bombay and seeing and testing the idea that a street child would actually pick up the phone and call or any child in India would pick up the phone and call. Or in rural India, when we started Aflatun, that children will actually save because everyone said poor children don't have money to save. So I think that was the two ideas. So that's at the project level where it is very, very low cost. There's almost no money. And you're just trying to test whether your idea is not some harebrained stupidity, which it can be, or there is some merit to this idea that you have. And that for Childline India was when I did it, Childline in Bombay. For Aflatun, it was when we did it in rural Maharashtra. That's step one of phase one. The second phase is drawing 
from that to take it to the next level of expansion. And that means that you document it, you see what mistakes you have made, and it's an ongoing process. And then you try to create an action plan for taking it to the next level of scaling. So here I move back to Childline India. We documented it. We created five different manuals on each step of the process. And then we said we would nationally replicate it.